Ugh, glad I remembered to lock my stuff in my locker. That backpack was getting heavy. Hey, I totally forgot I had this in my pocket. An entire foot of delicious bubblegum goodness. That's about to be covered in dirt on the floor. Quick, Kevin, catch it before it falls! No! My gum! Gross. Unless you like lint hair and questionable brown stuff, this gum is ruined. Yikes, that's pretty disgusting. What the heck happened to that thing? Ew, get it out of my face! What do you need with my tape? You'll see. Did you know a tape dispenser can serve as a drop-free gum holder? Step one, make the thing look a little less like a tape dispenser with some fun paint. It looks pretty good so far. Now all you have to do is stick your foot of gum in there. Hey Lily, what's up? Hello Kevin, now can I have the gum you promised me? Are you talking about this? Huh? Here, take off a piece. And you get the perfect size every time. Can't imagine going through a full day without your favorite bubblegum? Then you probably already know that chomping on this stuff during class can be super tricky. Yes, my favorite flavor! One, two, three, blow! Gah! Jeez, Lily, you really startled me. And if you give me a piece of your gum, all will be forgiven. Kevin! You can't just steal my gum like that! If you're in need of a gum disguise, the answer might be right under your nose. If you have a boxy highlighter lying around, grab a blade and cut off its plastic tip. Next, snag some hot glue and put it onto the tip you just cut. Now stick it onto the end of your favorite pack of gum. If you can print the highlighter's logo onto the corresponding color, you've got yourself a secret gum dispenser. No one will ever know that while you're highlighting your important notes, you're also indulging in bubble gum. We'll just keep it our little secret, okay? Hey, Lily, are you chewing gum? Where is it, though? I don't see any on your desk. That's because it's all stashed in her highlighter. Sorry, Kevin. What he doesn't know won't hurt him, right? Sometimes hunger can strike at the most inopportune times. Like history class. Oh no! Seriously? I can't believe you, Kevin! You got chips all over our desks! Here, use my wipes to clean this awful mess up. Jeez, it was only an accident. Hey, wait a sec. Wanna make your bag of chips explosion-proof? Take off the plastic dispenser and set the bag of wipes aside. Stick the plastic piece onto the middle of the chip bag, like so. Next, use a blade to cut the bag out of the inside of the dispenser. Nice. Now close that sucker up until you're ready to snack. Now, instead of spilling your crumbs everywhere, you can enjoy a bag of chips at your desk, mess-free. Aw, look at you sharing, Kevin. That's so nice. Pause the lecture for a second. Amy's about to blow an epic bubble. Ugh, false alarm. Uh-oh, teacher alert. Mind if I take a look at your notes, Amy? Wow, look how messy and unkempt your notebook pages are. How does this even happen anyway? What a shame. What about your notebook, Lily? Why, it's just as perfect as you, isn't it? A plus as usual. Hey, how do you keep your notebook so neat like that? Looks like we have a nifty paper hack on our hands. Wanna drop some knowledge on us, Lily? You can make your own page protector at home. Simply fold a square of paper in hand, matching corner to corner like this. Keeping the paper folded, take one corner and match it with the one up top. Do the same thing to the other side. Once you solidify the creases, unfold the corners. Match the top corner to the bottom and press down the fold. Next, tuck each corner into the pocket you've just made. Be sure the edges are tucked all the way in, as deep as possible. Turn the piece upside down so the folded part is farthest away from you. On the first folded corner, draw a shape that looks like a closed eye with lashes. With different colored paper, create fringe and glue it on the fold, like so. Add the sparkly horn and you've got yourself a paper unicorn. Now you can keep the pages from your books and folders from curling. So cute! Thanks for the great tip, Lily! So, what's on the agenda today? Oh no, why am I feeling so much wetness? 
Ugh, looks like one of your pens must have leaked black ink all over your stuff, Amy. Ew, so gross, right? But maybe your stuff isn't completely ruined. Yep, that's the look of a light bulb going off. Want to give your pens and pencils a little color? Fill a large container with water and your favorite colored nail polish. Go ahead and dump the polish into the water. Once you do that, feel free to add even more colors, randomly dispersing it. Now take your pencil and slowly dip it into the liquid and lift it right back out the same way. You can do this as many times as you like and can experiment with different colors. Wow, where did you get pencils like that? Want to use one? Thanks, Amy! Way to turn lemons into lemonade, girl. School's in session. And you know what that means. Our brains are in work mode. But with teachers, class, and early mornings come major challenges. Morning! It's time to get situated before class begins. And that means taking out all the essentials. Okay, not sure if perfume is needed for social studies class. You'll definitely need your pens and pencils. And your eyeshadow palette? Hey, do each his own, I guess. Hey, Sophia, do you really need to take out your makeup for this class? For makeup-obsessed girls like Sophia, traveling without your makeup is like leaving your entire face at home. Uh-oh. Hi there. Oh, that's not the look you want to get from your teacher. I'll just put my makeup away then. Nothing to see here. Sheesh, that was a close one. Will Sophia ever learn? Gothic art was unique for its use of… Amy? Amy? What wakes me from my slumber? Gah, why do you have to stare at me like that? Shake it off. Okay, back to the lesson. Why is it that creepy kids go around school acting all, well, creepy? <laughs> Jeez. I'm too complex for this mortal world. Shoot, I know this answer. Is it seven? Twenty-two? Ugh, that tapping is so annoying! A clicking pen's even worse! Don't hit Vicky. Don't hit Vicky. And now, gum smacking? And as icing on the cake, we have aggressive foot shaking. That's it. I can't stand sitting here for one more second. Can't you sit still and be quiet for one minute? Oh no. Don't even think about it, Vicky. Okay, anyone have the answer to this one? Even when the entire class is stumped, there's always one person in the class that is dying to give the answer. What? Don't look at me. Quick, pick Sophia before her poor arm falls right off. Anyone but Sophia who's answered the last five questions? Oh jeez, just pick her already. No matter what, the class know-it-all will stop at nothing to show off how much they know on a topic. Okay, Sophia, go ahead. Me? Yes! I know this one! Just around the 3 p.m. mark, it's hard to ignore that growling belly of yours. Hey, nothing's wrong with a little mid-class snack attack, right? Just try not to chew too loud. Yikes, that was loud. Just a little sip and I'll put it away. Hey, what's that smell? Orange soda? Chocolate? Hey, you're not supposed to be eating in class, Vicky. It's just a small snack to hold me over till dinner, see? 